So what about breakfast? That is the question I'm going to answer today. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Aishan, aka The Omnivorist. I'm a nutritional therapy practitioner in Paris, France, and I'm passionate about helping busy moms recover their energy and vitality through real food and healthy habits. Welcome to episode three of my weekly series, Ask the Omnivorist, Food and Health Nuggets for Busy Mamas. Now, I often get asked the question about breakfast because it is another one of those subjects that is really confusing. There is so much conflicting information out there. People ask me, should I be having breakfast? Well, if so, what kind of breakfast? Or you may have heard that fasting is good for you, so maybe you should be skipping breakfast altogether. Now, this is another big subject and one that I actually love talking about. So it's going to be another two-parter. So in today's episode and next Friday, I'm going to give you the tools you need so that you can start, um, you can actually start your day right, okay? Now, I especially want you to be listening up. If you suffer from any issues like, you know, with your energy levels, if you get a slump in the mid-morning or the mid-afternoon, if you tend to get brain fog, if you um, have excess belly fat, or if you have trouble, you know, sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and you have a hard time falling back asleep, so you end up waking up groggy, et cetera, et cetera. Because what I'm going to explain to you is going to be especially important for you. Now, in the last few episodes, I was telling you all about the importance of real food. And here in France, where I live, um, this is pretty easy to talk about in the context of lunch and dinner, because those tend to be proper meals around here, or at least people are used to, you know, people don't have a hard time imagining that. So you might have a nice appetizer <laughs> made out of fresh ingredients, and then you'll have a followed by a hot dish. So if you skipped, you know, dessert and maybe bread, it's quite easy to imagine how you might have a nutritious diet. However, where people tend to stumble is breakfast. And it's not just in France, but for in most of the developed world, and even increasingly in the developing world, people now have the, have the, are in the habit of having breakfast that is, um, you know, made up of typical breakfast foods. So, you know, things like breakfast pastries, um, like croissants and um, muffins and bagels. Uh, what else you got? You got, you know, breakfast cereal and muesli, maybe with skim milk or a nut milk. You got fruit juice. Um, so if you could guess it by now, I am not a proponent of this kind of breakfast. And why is that? Now, there are three reasons for that. Number one, this kind of refined carb uh, and sugar breakfast is sending you on a blood sugar roller coaster, and that is not good news. Number two, not only that, these foods are not nourishing you properly to start your day. And number three, not only that, because these are mostly grain-based, refined grain-based foods, they can be potentially inflammatory because they could be irritating to the gut lining, to your intestinal health, which actually is a topic for another day, but it is extremely important to your overall health and well-being. Now, what's happening when you're eating this kind of, you know, typical refined carb-laden breakfast is that you're giving yourself a jolt of blood sugar, which is, you know, taking you up and then beam, and it's kind of you crashing, coming crashing down just as fast as you did. So that is why, for example, you might have a really hard time um, making it until lunchtime be without becoming really hungry. Or you might be suffering, if you are suffering from some of the issues I mentioned earlier, those could all be signs that you have trouble um, with your blood sugar regulation. And starting your day with a nourishing, hearty, real food breakfast is one of the best ways to start going in the right direction. And as I also mentioned, grains, um, especially refined grains, they are not a great source of bioavailable nutrition. They are definitely not a top food choice for real fooders. So that is another reason to avoid them. Um, now, I can hear some of you thinking or asking, but you know, I feel fine skipping breakfast and just grabbing a cup of coffee, okay? Now, of course, here's a disclaimer. I do not like to make blanket recommendations for every single person on earth. Um, However, if you do have some of the issues we've talked about, and you know, what mom doesn't really, um, then I want you to reconsider. Because here's a dirty secret. The reason you're feeling good with that type of start to your day is because your body's pumping out stress hormones. 
Now, that is not a bad thing in and of itself, but when it happens on a chronic basis, then you're really um, running the risk of exhausting yourself even further down the line. So let me just make sure I've got everything that I can, um, yeah. So instead of um, that kind of typical breakfast, I want you to consider having a breakfast more based on uh, fat, um, protein, and complex carbs. You know, things like eggs and avocados, even vegetables, etc. These kinds of foods, now, not only will they nourish you properly, they will also give you that stable blood sugar that you need in the hours ahead. Now, I hope that I was able to make the case for you today for having a good breakfast. And join me next week as I share with you more details on just what you could be eating. And not only that, how to make that part of your life, how to make that into a new healthy habit without having to cook for hours every morning. Okay? Um, so if you would like even more tips and tricks from me and get a backstage pass to my own kitchen, make sure to join our free Facebook group, The Mama Reboot Community. I will post the link in the comments. And if you have enjoyed this video and you found this information useful, please like it and consider sharing it with somebody else who might also benefit. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you right here next week. Have a wonderful weekend.